In today's top cryptocurrency news, February 06, 2023, in the first new, digital bank Revolut launches crypto staking for UK and EEA customers, report. Currently, staking is available for DOT, XTZ, ADA, and ETH crypto assets, with yields reportedly ranging from 2.99% to 11.65%. In the second new, Australia and the UK share their big picture of crypto, law decoded, January 31st to February 6th. While the British Treasury emphasizes the liberal approach, Australia goes with the profound taxonomy of all the crypto assets. In the third new, decentralized Infura may help prevent Ethereum app crashes, interview. The initial Defura marketplace, which is currently in development, is expected to include up to 10 Web3 data providers. In the fourth new, did DRDX violate the law by changing its tokenomics? The DRDX Foundation made an abrupt change to its project's tokenomics, but it may have done so in consultation with its attorneys. In the fifth new, Bank of Italy selectively encouraging DLT, preparing for MICA, Governor says. Italian central banker Ignazio Visco talked about fostering or discouraging crypto assets during a lengthy speech to the Italian Financial Markets Association. In the sixth new, Price Analysis 26, SPX, DXY, BTC, ETH, BNB, XRP, Doge, ADA, Matic, DOT. The US dollar's rise has put brakes on Bitcoin's price recovery, but lower levels are likely to attract buyers for BTC and altcoins such as Doge. In the seventh new, FTX CEO testifies on pure hell post-bankruptcy days at exchange. John Ray said when he took control of FTX in November 2022, there was a massive scramble for information related to the exchange's funds, insurance and personnel. In the eighth new, Bitcoin dominates as primary focus for digital asset investors, report. According to CoinShares, digital asset investment products saw inflows totaling $76 million last week. In the ninth new, Bitcoin trader fears a bear market comeback, watch the US dollar. It's all about a golden cross, a death cross and the Federal Reserve when it comes to Bitcoin price action in the first half of the week. In the 10th new, what are decentralized social networks? Explaining Web3 social networks, their benefits, challenges and how they work. In the 11th new, Community votes to deploy Uniswap v3 on Boba Network. Enya Labs co-founder Alan Chu said that the move would allow developers to build on and off-chain to FI applications on top of Uniswap. In the 12th new, what is Cyberpunk? A beginner's guide to the sci-fi genre. Cyberpunk is a subgenre of sci-fi that explores a dystopian future with advanced technology, where the line between man and machine is blurred. In the 13th new, Hong Kong Securities Regulator adds crypto personnel for industry supervision. Regulators in Hong Kong plan for the addition of personnel to better supervise the activities of local virtual asset providers. In the 14th new, Chainlink Oracle, data feeds coming to StarkNet ecosystem. Starkware is set to partner with Chainlink Labs to integrate Oracle services and data feeds to the StarkNet testnet. In the 15th new, it's time to own your digital identity. As we emerge into the world of Web3 and the metaverse, we are starting to see methods of data retention where the web user has full visibility and control of this, specifically through digital identities. In the 16th new, stablecoin adoption could lead to DeFi growth, says Ave founder. Stanik Kulechov said that one of the challenges in the ecosystem is that there's less backing in decentralized stablecoins compared to centralized ones. In the 17th new, HODLNOT works with potential buyers to sell firm and FTX claims, report. HODLNOT's court-appointed judicial managers are reportedly in the process of signing non-disclosure agreements with the potential buyers. In the 18th new, 
Bitcoin price over $20,000 creates FOMO with 620k new BTC wallets. The growth of small BTC addresses was very limited in 2022 and slumped to new lows post FTX, but a significant surge in January suggests trader optimism is high. In the 19th new, Interpol wants to police metaverse crimes, reveals Secretary General. According to Stock, criminals have started targeting users on platforms similar to the metaverse, adding that we need to sufficiently respond to that. In the 20th new, is BTC price about to retest $20,000? Five things to know in Bitcoin this week. Bitcoin looks like it is treading on thin ice as February fails to match the gains of last month. In the 21st new, South Korean regulator provides guidance on security tokens. Digital assets that fit the descriptions for security tokens will be regulated under the country's Capital Markets Act. In the 22nd new, Binance Tax launched to prepare crypto users for the tax season. The new tool helps users access tax details aligning with their crypto activity to help report information during the upcoming tax season. In the 23rd new, BNB chain on-chain activity bucks bear market downtrend in Q4, Messari. Average daily addresses on the Binance blockchain network grew by 30% year-on-year in Q4. In the 24th new, China doles out millions in digital yuan in bid to boost adoption, report. Multiple Chinese city governments have given away millions worth of ECNY to try to promote consumption around the holiday season. In the 25th new, Spanish Rehab Center adds crypto trading addiction to services list. The Rehabilitation Center cited estimates that about 1% of cryptocurrency traders will develop an extreme addiction to crypto trading. In the 26th new, Dingo Crypto Token flagged a scam over 99% transaction feedback door. Cybersecurity firm Checkpoint said it discovered a smart contract function called Set Tax Fee Percent that can reportedly change the contract's buy and sell fees. In the 27th new, Crypto needs adult supervision and turmoil to grow up MicroStrategy co-founder. The bankruptcies of once high-profile crypto players are painful but helpful, according to Michael Saylor, but industry oversight is still needed. Today's news ends here. Tomorrow there will be more news. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to stay up to date with cryptocurrency news. See you tomorrow.